Jeff, 2010, Texas. Uh, I don't guess there's any two drivers that would have been more surprising to see start duking it out other than you and Jeff Gordon. Maybe Lake Speed and Morgan Shepard after a <laughs> MRO service or something. <laughs> Who won the fight? That wasn't a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're scoring, if you're on the scorecard, it's hard to score something that wasn't a fight. This is a pushing match. But I did tell, I, uh, you know, and, and that was um, – that was one of the low lives, some low life, you know, lowest moments of my career. Really? Yeah. That stupid altercation because, um, I mean, the whole story behind it is we were both pissed off because we were running yeah. like 18th. Yeah. And, and, um, you know, he, I was running the high line. He was running the bottom. He thought I should let him, let him go. He made a big swerve at me because he was mad. And my temper got the better of me, and I stood wide open in the gas. I wasn't trying to wreck him, but we got hooked up. And once we got hooked up, we couldn't get apart. And and when he hit, I mean, he hit really hard. And and as soon as he hit, like the energy, all the energy, you know how mad you get and how, you know, all that went away. And I was concerned that he was hurt. And, I, and wow. on top of that, I yeah. knew what it looked like. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if you yeah. watch that and you don't think that I intentionally wrecked him, you're blind. And and but I didn't. But I knew what it looked like, and I knew my anger had put me in a situation to put him in that situation. And um, it was it just wasn't it was it was not at all what I am. You know what I mean? And I felt like you dumbass. You know, your temper got the better of you. You put somebody else in jeopardy, and you made yourself look silly. And and you know all uh, my my uh, my reputation. I felt like my re- who I was was not demonstrated on that day. And it was one of the low one of my low moments. Well, what I was going to say is what wasn't surprising was the fact that you uh, immediately manned up and on TV immediately afterwards you said I, I messed up. Uh, I, you know we just got hooked up and you know all that. So you immediately took kind of the blame for that. Well, you know, we both were at fault at it, but because I made the the final contact, I was the most at fault, and it's just it is what it is. And and uh, yeah, that was that was. Uh, I mean, it's kind of funny now, but at the time, it wasn't. You know, it just wasn't. And and um, I was uh, one a funny story is uh, Mike Helton called me a few days later, and he says, "Hey, look, we we, you know, we're looking at this thing. I need you to tell me what happened, and you know, we might have to we might have to." to fine, make a fine here or some kind of punishment. And I, I immediately, I don't even know where this came from. I immediately said, dude, I don't think you ought to fine him. I don't think you meant to do it. <laughs> Mike, Atta boy. Mike kind of Mike kind of chuckled. He kind of chuckled a little bit and laughed. <laughs> to this day, I don't know. And I think that saved me probably fifteen or twenty thousand. But 